Welcome! This is a ping pong ball bouncing board game made up of 12 balls, 4 different colors, and 4 point counters, which attach to the side of the board game. The object is to bounce your colored ball once off of a hard surface, like a table, into the playing field. for either points or alignment. Now you may be thinking that bouncing a ball would be easy, but bouncing a ball into a position where you want it to go could be very difficult if you don't practice as you've just seen. It's gonna take skill. The game floor is made up of points. The first row is one point, the second row two points, and the third row, three points, and one, four points. It is the most hardest to get, so it's furthest and center. The object, also, is alignment. Depending on which game you're playing, you will choose two colors for a total of six balls. So if I choose blue and yellow, my objective would be to use the blue and yellow to make some type of tic-tac-toe alignment. The cover of the game is used as a backboard. You can either bounce the ball off of the table surface into the backboard and it falls in for points or you may take the ball and simply throw the ball into the backboard and it falls in for points. The playing field is very reactive, meaning that if you bounce your ball into the playing field, it's possible that it may bounce it right back at you. No matter how much time you have, whether it's five minutes or an hour, if the game brings family and friends back together again, then we have accomplished our goal. Good luck. Welcome. Hints to the game. Three important hints. Let's start with the first one. Ball control. Putting front spin on a ball will dramatically help push a ball through the playing field to the position where you want it to go. You need to know exactly how much force you need to put on the ball though. Too much can actually make the ball crawl around the table, but just enough will land it in the position where you want it to stop. The second ball control is backspin. Putting backspin on a ball allows the ball to deaden itself to stop where you want it to go. It's very important to have control though of how much backspin you put on it because it will actually spin right back to you and possibly land on a sidewall. The next hint, sidewall. If you have a ball that is on the sidewall facing on your side here, you can simply sacrifice a bounce and knock your ball into place for one point or if yellow and blue were your colors you would simply knock it in place for alignment. The third hint, probably the most important hint, is that if your fingers are dry the ball will slip from your fingertips. It's very important to make sure that they have some type of moisture just on the tips so that you can have good grip on the ball for front spin or back spin.